Hi everyone! Thank you for agreeing to take care of our cute bun buns. The purpose of this video is to provide you with a demonstration on how to take good care of the bunnies. Here we go! We first start by learning how to open Jamie's cage. First, please undo the locks in the middle and on the right. Then you can fold the top of the cage to access the bunnies. When you enter, please don't step on the bunny. You can also lift up the second part of the cage too, but please do not open it all the way since it will dislocate some parts of the cage. Oh, Jamie's so cute. Closing the bunny cage is just doing the same thing as opening the cage in reverse. Please lock the cage from the right side and make sure to lock in the middle part too so that the cage doesn't fall open, doesn't fall on top of the bunny and kill him. Opening Momoko's cage is simpler, in a way that you just have to take off some clips on one side. One, two, three, four, just like that. Oh, what a cute boy! Look at him! And you beep! And you beep! And you do you. Oh! Closing the cage is similar to opening it. Please repli replace the clips and put the rest of the blanket on top so the bunnies don't play with it. When you are not in the cage, please close the cage because they are fully capable of jumping out and will, just like this. That little shit. Now I'd like to show you how to feed the bunnies. If you bring the hay bag into the cage, like so, you realize that either the bunny is on you or attacking the hay bag. So get inside to get inside. So let's just leave it outside. Also, if you lean the bag on their cage, they will destroy it. This is the ideal amount of hay to feed him. Now James is fed. Look at that little baby. Yum, 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 yum. Since Momoko is getting jealous, let's do the same for Momoko too. But before we do, I want to rinse out their water bowl every time. And just like that, Momoko is fed too. Momoko likes to play with the hay feeder, so if you fiddle around and you think it's a bit too loose, then you can screw it tighter behind, just like this. All right, now it's time for cabbages. They love cabbages. They like them a little too much sometimes though. When you see them wanting cabbage so much, you might be weaker and want to give them more, but that's not very good to give them too much. So please give them about one large leaf and two or two small leaves for them morning and night. It's better to overfeed them a little bit than let them starve, so don't worry too much. Feel free to just drop it into the cage or hold it up for them to eat. And feed them at the same time so they don't get jealous. I usually just shove, the th shove it through the cage for them to eat. Just be aware that if you drop it too close to the middle, the bunny might steal the other's cabbage. Please put the cabbage away where they cannot see it since they will be irritated if they can see outside the cage and you cannot. Now I'll talk about pellets. It is by far their favorite thing in this world. When you shake it, they will immediately react to the sound. The amount that I want you to give them is about a handful. About this much. You can just shove it in there like that and push the ones that bounce out back in. Please give them twice a day like this. The most important thing in their diet is hay. Cabbage and pellets are just supplementary, but it will give them extra energy since you will only come every 12 hours. Momoko might need a little extra hair with his litter box. If you see that it's still in a recoverable state, then please readjust it so, it do so he doesn't pee outside the liner. All right, now we talk about handling the bunnies. First with Momoko. Momoko does not like to be held, 
So if you want to touch him and play with him, just please pet him while leaving him on the floor. He likes head scratches and getting pets on his back. He will also appreciate it if you play with his ears gently and warm them up. If you scratch his butt really nice, he'll melt. Please don't take the bunnies outside the cage or try and put them together because they will try to kill each other. On the other hand, James likes to be held. When holding James, first hold his body with the one hand and then hold up his butt with the other. Then you can place him in your arm, just like this. Please do not stand up while holding the bunny. You might drop him and he might get hurt. Once you have him in your arm, you can give him pets on his head, his cheeks, and his ears. You can even sit down if you'd like. Such cute look at him. He wants to cuddle. Oh my, what a cute boy. When putting him down, it's the same as picking him up. Hold his body in one hand and his butt in the other and put him down on all four legs. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me.